Okay, so we have installed our night watch and we've got your basic project set up. Now what we do need is a uh, few directories. So for example, um, we will need is a pages directory, a test folder, and a lib folder. Okay. All right. So so those are created because. Well, we need the pages folder so that our page objects and elements we can extract and put it there. Uh, secondly, we need a test folder so that we can write all of our tests there, test cases there. And then we need our lib folder so that we can store our Selenium standalone jar and the uh, Chrome driver and the other drivers that we will need. Uh, we will we'll store it there. Okay. So let's go to um, now. Speaking of the uh, drivers, let's go and download some of the drivers that we need. Okay, so let's go to the Selenium HQ website. So this is the original. This is the main. This is Selenium Web Drivers main site, and this is where you can find a lot of information, a lot of questions that you have. You can easily go here and find it. Um, for our purposes, what we need is a Selenium standalone jar. We're going to click on download and we're going to download the latest version. It's a standalone server. So this comes in a, a jar file. Okay, so that's one thing we need. Then what we need is a Chrome driver. Okay, um, so let's see. I think we can take a look at Okay, here we go. So Google Chrome driver. And as you can see, you can find other uh drivers appium for mobile and all these various drivers that um we will see later on to configure different browsers for now let's go to google chrome driver and then the latest release and just go there okay now remember if you are i'm on my mac so i will download this um folder uh zip file but if you're in Windows, please download the Windows. If you're in Linux, please download the Linux. Um, the standalone jar doesn't matter, but the drivers will matter if depending on your operating system. Okay. Great. So this is downloaded. Okay. All right. So this is on unzip it. Okay, great. Now what we need to do is uh we need to move it into our we'll, we'll create another folder called drivers so that we can keep everything stored okay so we'll create that and then let's see if we can just move our drivers into that great drivers so basically you just want to move move your standalone server and your okay now we need to do not there's chrome driver or any that should not have spaces or anything like that so let's keep it like that and then if you are in windows it will have a dot exe file so just keep it like that so um it should not have any spaces okay so great that will cause issues later so that's great so we're done with that so that's it we have done with that um i think one last thing we need to do to get it get it started Close this, I'm gonna close this, close this. Now the last part is okay. Now we need one more file which is the nightwatch.json um, so that we can configure our tests and and um, other other various things such as like screenshots or reporting and we need to tell where the uh, we need to tell the project or nightwatch where the drivers are and so on and so forth. So let's create a file. We'll call it night watch json okay now for now i have i've gotten this um from their main site and it, this is nothing it's not something that i am writing myself i'm just sort of trying to follow i'm just trying to make all of this configuration and installation process much easier so I've just done it um, I will I can just copy and paste it um, but for now I will I've already written a simpler version of this so that it's easier to understand so it's the same sort of file we can take compare it 
So let's I'm gonna move it here. This is okay. And then Nightwatch JSON, as you can see in the in the Nightwatch's main site, this is exactly what they're telling us to do. Uh, we need uh, a Nightwatch.json file, and in the project root folder, we've created a Nightwatch.json. And let's take a look. Okay, from the beginning, so you have your test. Let's cancel that. Okay. Okay, and we we've we've made a start process to true. Okay, and we're giving the path. To so this should work, um, okay, okay now, okay. Uh, let's create our first test, okay. Uh, let's go to. So this is the let's go to home and Nightwatch the main file. They they're giving us an example, okay. So we're gonna do is copy that, and then in our test folder, let's just say create demo.js okay and then we're just going to paste that there so now this is going to Google uh, waiting for an element it's going to a set value so let's just see how this looks okay let's just try to run it into an integrated terminal okay all right one more thing uh, if Early on, we put npm test. Uh, you may want to remove that actually because uh, to run to run our Node.js, we will use a different script. So, okay, a different command. Okay, so we'll say Node Night Watch. Okay, E for the type of environment, so Chrome, and A. Uh, actually, that's it. So that's it. That's all we do for now. Okay, so and we got an error. Well, so one thing we have to notice is that you have to be into the root folder. You cannot be inside of test or other folders, or it won't work. So, for example, right now I'm in test folders, and if I run the command, it's not it's not running, right? Um, all we have to do is cd dot dot, and then we're in the root folder now. We will take it off and this should work and there you go you have our first and I'm not it's fully automated it's running for something and there we go it prints out a report what something we were expecting something something filled and so you can see three test cases three test assertions passed and one failed okay and there you go we have automated our first 